the commie leaders in New York City set off a series of red riots that spread from Harlem to the Battery. Mr. Harmon, perhaps you didn't understand the question. Sure I do. But I refuse to answer the question for fear it might incriminate me. At the moment, there is no law against being a member of the Communist Party. The First Amendment prohibits the Congress from forcing any witness to answer any such question. Are you a member or have you been a member of the Communist Party? Answer yes or no. I have here a prepared statement which will show that... We have no time to listen to propaganda. Answer the question or you'll be held in contempt. Mr. Savenik, are you a member of the Communist Party of America? I have been for nine years. My party card is in your possession. What was your purpose in joining the party? I joined it as an undercover agent for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I was what is commonly known as a plant. <laughs> recognize these volumes, Mr. Savetic? Yes, sir. Those are copies of the daily reports I made to the FBI. Please give us a brief resume of what you learned about the Communist Party. Well, I learned chiefly that its political activities are nothing more than a front. It is actually a vast spy system founded in our country by the Soviet. It's composed of American traitors whose only purpose is to deliver the people of the United States into the hands of Russia as a slave colony. Yeah. 